we go. And let's see. Hey, <laughs> guess what? It stayed connected. Woohoo! Guess what? You know, that that's three minutes of my life I can't get back. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hands up. Every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> wow. Well, that kind of explains why Denmark is so appealing to me. <laughs> There's a lot less of that here. <laughs> oh, come Whatever on. Whatever the fuck that was, not here. <laughs> That's every Our, day we're shuffling. No, actually, I think the neighbors, <laughs> were, were, the, we got a house full of guys that work, uh, they room in the same house, but they do like house repair or whatnot. Uh huh. And uh, sometimes they have a little bit of a party going on in the weekends. Uh huh. And that was what I heard them playing, something similar to that earlier, trying to make my tumor bleed <laughs> <laughs> across the continuum, if you will, all the way across you know, the street in my backyard. I heard it and went, wow, that's terrible. I'm going to go inside and play some Rolling Stones. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I never was much on the stones. Yeah. That's okay. I I don't eh. care. I was never I would, the only thing I could do with what you just played is sit on it. <laughs> while I put something decent on because that would never hit my turntable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. you old fuddy duddy. I know. Hey, where are we at? Well, we're almost um, not at any. Hey, we're at uh, RLM. We're on the dork table. We're sitting on the dork table as we speak. Well, okay, I'm sitting in a chair. But we're at the dork table on RLM radio. How's that sound? Mm. Hello, RLM. And you know who else? Who else? Spreaker. Spreaker, yes. We got yeah. Spreaker going. And yeah. we got uh, uh, TuneIn Radio and... Uh, um, uh, <laughs> don't don't trip over your uh there little missy. Jeez. I was doing an impersonation of Barry when he doesn't have his teleprompter. Um, oh, yeah. Trump. Um, Good let's God. see. Trump's even worse than old bummer was. I know. Let's see. RLMRadio.xyz. Yeah, that's the one I was trying to think of. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anything with the alphabet makes you sweat. It does. Oh man, that's why my pits are getting okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the dork table, and now yeah. you know why. Yes, yes, we are dorks. Okay. The pits are wet, and the words are short. <laughs> <laughs> we try to keep them between four and eight letters for your safety and entertainment. Yeah, and I have a kitty times. on my lap as well. <laughs> doozer, doozer, doozer. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Doozer that's needs my... to be on my lap and have me pet her, and so she can shed all over me because that's what that's she not, does. It's not what it means when my uncle Steve says it. Oh. <laughs> well, I think he uses a different word besides cat. I, I think it's a different kind of pussy. I'm yeah. not really sure. Yeah, I'm think I'm thinking it better be. In any case, oh, over here on oh, yeah. uh, Twitter, thank you, Barman oh, and Twitter. JJ's. I see hey, you guys Jay. over here on Twitter, um, over on Fakey Book. Really, not a whole hell of a lot going on over here on Fakey Book, except for Ben Juan. Ben Juan. <laughs> 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 ben Swan. <laughs> wow, Brady and Slip. I want to meet my friend Ben. <laughs> ben Juan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> In any Thank case, you. he's sharing something about some Baltimore police chief that um, for three years did not file his taxes. And all kinds of people are jumping on there going, taxation is theft and all that other fun shit. And me, I just yeah. simply put on there, you know what? They probably already took it out before he saw his damn check anyway. All, they, all they're wanting to get him for is because he didn't file the proper paperwork to let them know that, yes, he acknowledged that you stole my money, you son of a bitches. And here, you want some more? So... That's pretty much all that is. But over on Fakey Book, <laughs> other than that, there's really not a whole hell of a lot going on, except for Ben Juan, Ben Swan, <laughs> and my Freudian slips. I'm famous for them, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> 
over here on the R or on the uh, that FN site, Freedoms Network. Site. Thank you, Grimmy, for sharing us over here. I also see Katie Troxel and Robert Smith 200 and Bob Renner are over here as well. Nicaragua, Shelves Canal. Oh, well, it's probably because they don't have any money. Money, money, well, money, money. You know what? Nicaragua is so poor, They probably what they did was they backed up some big animals and stuffed shit in their ass and hit them in the side. Oh, hey, they, there you they go. They call that a fucking missile. You know, from a third world country where they got no food, they got missiles. Well, you know, it's like, um, <sighs> yeah, when uh, when Israel tries to justify their firing on Palestinians, well, they were flinging projectiles at us. Yeah, they were throwing rocks at you, you son of a bitch, tanks. and you're you're shooting them down with AK-47s and all kind of other shit. Assholes. But you love us, so don't complain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, either stand up against Israel, as I do, and mock their fucking Jew shit, as I do, or join them and fucking give in. Take it. Take it up the butt from the Jews, because that's what they do to you. No, that's an exit only. I will not. I No, I will stand against them. I No, I don't want to stand against them because that means that my backside is exposed. Ew! I'll just hey. stay away and call them out and say, you guys are assholes. You have become Can't worse stand. than the monsters that you said you were abused by. And most of the people in Israel right now weren't even abused by those people. It's like, come on. If it didn't happen to you, get over it and move on. But I think it's like the states where the people that support it are minuscule compared to the people that truly don't. Yeah. Well, right? and, and the ones that tru yeah, the ones that truly don't support it are being kept silent Quiet. by those yeah, they yeah don't, you by won't the see links. Yeah. Yeah, by the peer pressure bully syndrome. You well, do not speak out against pressure. the state. Well, sure it is. I mean, you know, people calling each other out. How dare you talk bad about? How dare you? I'm going to report you. You know, it's it's right. the it's the big nanny nanny boo boo. I'm gonna tattle well, on you, bully pressure bullshit. There's a link. There's a guy running for an office. Hold on, I think I wrote his name down. Yeah, Patrick Little is running for a fucking seat in office in California. And he made a video. This is either the best spoof I've ever seen or this is true. And the guy says he's running for office, but he stood against uh, Israel. He's standing on a Jewish flag, spitting on it uh, on the video thing. Oh, but he my. He says he got removed for being anti-Semitic. And oh. I told you a couple of months ago. Uh -huh. Shit, this is common knowledge amongst people I've always known is if you don't support the Jews, you don't work. They won't let you in government if you are anti-Semitic. It's a requirement. Ah. So if you're being held hostage in any fucking way, where's the freedom part come into your society? Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. you can't hate them. Well, what? Okay. Yeah, because, yeah. Where, where do I sign? <laughs> yeah, find who you're not allowed to uh, call out on their bullshit, and that's who you realize owns you. That's a very, very good point to make, Miss Mary. I'm yes. with you 117%. And speaking of 117%, if you ain't yeah. over here in the RLM where you need R to be, if you want to play along with the rest of us dorks, well, yeah. yeah, come on over yeah. to reallibertymedia.com. Uh, think of a nickname. Join the chat. Give us some static or some dorkular wisdom. We don't care. We'll take it all, and we'll throw it right back at you, too. But right up top, I see Barman. Barman. Yeah, and then there's Grimner, the RLM god. Ah. Moose Girl must be sleeping in because she ain't in here right now. I see the lovely Kate is here, though, as well as Asmo. Asmo. And Chloe. Oh, we got two Chloe's. Double dose of Chloe and Chalcedony Chloe, going on. Chloe. Yeah, oh, she's my, in. On my screen, Chalcedony's before Chloe, Chloe. Well, on my screen, it's Chloe, oh. Chalcedony, Chloe. Hey, Chalcedony, uh, you're uh, the Chalcedony uh, uh, middle of a Chloe sandwich. <laughs> hey. Then this just goes to show to prove our point that we see the same exact thing, but it's not even the same exact thing. Some shit's in different order. I know. Hey, we've been lied to again by the by the man, man. I know. It was the man. 
But then we have free enslaved. He is obviously free enslaved. Yeah, he's he is definitely his name just pretty much says what you said about Israel. Yeah, you're well, so free, but you're slaves yeah. to Israel. Mm -hmm. right, just like just like everybody else, ain't no damn yeah. difference. Yeah, he's just being honest about it. Uh, if I'm I here, my, my white thoughts to you know to heart and went out there and physically did shit, I'd probably be in prison. Yeah, probably. So I can only boycott, you know, in the privy of my own mind and the spending of my own donero. Oh, oh. And I love avocados. Avocado. You know, sometimes the only avocados they can get here come from Israel, and I can't buy them. Mm, that sucks, too. I openly do not support spending money on three things, and Israel's one of them. <laughs> there you go. There you yeah, go. No, but so far, my boycott has really sh not shown very good promise, let me tell you. Mm. <sighs> I'm a sad little dork. <laughs> ah, ooh, huh? Ooh, I'm seeing a three-legged stool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's me. And I'd, I'm using Ice Chat today, and I haven't figured out how I can change my nickname. I don't think you can on there. I oh. think it's not as free as the other one is. Yeah, but this one has emoticons. <laughs> yeah, all right. I, use, I used it. You know me and my computer finger. Um, yeah. I dislay, disabled it again, and I've been trying not to have to ask the wife to fix it for me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's like, wow, how many things can you fuck up over and over and over again? <laughs> um, is this a challenge? <laughs> I, living, living with my computer skills uh, and being somebody that uses one to make a living. Yeah, that must be annoying as fuck. <laughs> oh, well, mm, oh, God, I remember those days trying to teach my ex how to use a computer. And well, it, I mean, my, five minutes. Mind, it's it is a different language in my mind. The way I interpret in, information. Yeah. This is all very alien to me. The, the way it's done, all the shit behind it. So. Yeah. Eh. Eh. But I know how to make a mud pie. <laughs> Yay! Hey, I see Java Doctor. <laughs> oh, and trust Java no one said, "Yeah, doctor. I'm a turd." Ooh. Um. Mud pie and trust no one is a turd. So is that basically the same thing? J Dread is here. Hansel, you old dog, you. Yeah, and JJ's is also in the chat. JJ's, wow. I hell? know he's everywhere. He's everywhere. There must be something in the air today. Must be. <laughs> I also see Juana Taco, and Rain. We got some more of that last night. It wasn't stormy though; it was just raining. Um, oh, well, I, I'm sorry. I can only do so many things. It was just the I... trickle down theory kind of thing. Uh, Correct my, my rain. Go on, go on, you picky old broad. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I also see RLM Fluke, the Vanna White of the RLM channel. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> very, very nice to see you again. Gross. Hi, Rob Works. Did you fire the bubbler? I think Rob Works fired yes. the bubbler. I think he did. Rob or maybe I'm just works. remembering from last night. Maybe I'm just remembering from last night. That could be. My could remembery be. is kind of messed up sometimes. Uh, um, yeah, it, gets, it gets corn foozed. <laughs> <laughs> it got corn fed is what happened. And uh, the GMOs are winning. Ooh, I hate when that happens. I also see that trusty feller is in the chat, as well as Vinny. Number one. Hey, Vinny. Vinny. Yeah, What's up, a whore? whisper. Let's see, a whistle, a whisper, and a kiss. So long as you. Oh, ew. No, I don't think so. Uh, Woodman is here. Woody. Hey, Woody. Yay, Woody. The old rock hound. And <laughs> Phantom. We got the Phantom. The Phantom. <laughs> oh, so scared the Phantom is gonna get me. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Beetle. Go. Beetle. And Soikles. Soikles. And Colfax 101. And, Colfax. And Dakota. And Dima. And Dima. 
Yeah, Ooh. and Echelon. Uh, Echelon? Wow. Yeah. Ooh, we've got and, new names. Yeah, and Ferris. Scary. I know, it is kind of scary. And Ferris and Flash Ferris. Droid. I think that's you, Flash Droid. Droid. Frumpy. Hey, Frumpy doubled us today. Look at I this. know. Our, our ratings are going to go through the table. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, if you want to pass something under the table. Mm. <laughs> hey, Kozu. And moi, 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 moi. I say moi enough so that you don't have to worry about saying it. Um, hey, don't you be flashing me, Vinny, you pervy little bugger, you. <laughs> I also see a pox box and poxified and poxophone and poxy home. We got a lot of pox, pox upon ye, I say. And pom 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 sauce. And the last one in the crew is Skittle, because we all like to taste the rainbow, don't we? Mm. Oh, something Ooh. we like to do. Hey, I don't, well, if I it's think, rainbow sherbet, yeah, I like rainbow sherbet. I think Pox is on here so many times, he deserves another letter. I think We're, so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him Pox of Fried. <laughs> oh, there you go. He hey. said he made up the name, so I can't really hurt, do him any harm just adding a letter to his already existing name. There you he'll, go. He'll see the humor in it, I, I hope. <laughs> Yay! Hey, Frumpy! Frumpy! Yeah, he got a Frumpy mind cute. wipe! Mind wipe! Uh -oh. Wipe off! Wipe on! Whoa. Wipe off! Wipe on! Uh, Ooh, omnipresent, never left. Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. Um... Oh, and Vinny's wanting to be inboxed. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. I know. They carry the bromances a little further than it's comfortable in the RLM sometimes, yeah. if you know what I mean. Yeah. Some of my peers go a little too, get a little too close to their fellow friends and such. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I feel like typing in there, boys. Go get a room. This I is know. a public building here you're typing in. They're kind of <laughs> scary. Yeah. Are, are oh, <laughs> hey, I like this. I just I clicked on Twitter because uh, I was going to close it. And Deidre Wallace says, We are all born ignorant, but one must work hard to remain stupid. That's from Benjamin Franklin. So. That is a matter of OP. You know, I know quite a few people that really do have to work at it to to remain I mean, you have to really, really break a sweat in order to ignore, ignore, and become ignore ant. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, oh, you've been playing with that word stuff. Yes, I have. You, you get to, see, don't you, you got too smart for me. I'd have to quit doing a dork table and try something different. <laughs> now you're, you're too smart. You're not. You know, now, hmm, yeah. it's changing the course of my future. Oh, my goodness. Changing the course might, of history. Well, my my three-step plan to unfuck the world is not even, you don't even know what it is. And you've been doing this with me for a couple of years. Well, I so, know. It's grow hemp, I'm, don't gonna, lie, uh, and grow hemp, don't lie. You got it already out of order. Well, Ooh. Okay, so and long as you do so all three of them. Of don't don't lie. It's a matter of if life was based on honesty and not deception and lies, we couldn't possibly be where we are now. The only way we got where we are is because people lied to us. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you call out these fucking liars for what they truly are, then the shepherds that want to be promoted within the ranks of their little fucking hierarchy come out and call you names. Yeah, I know. Names, 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 names. I've been called a lot of them. <laughs> well, <laughs> Hackways, you know, it, it doesn't do anything to the quality of my daily life, but I think I pay attention to it because of the way that I think. I'll give you an example. I've been going down to this train kiosk, and I, I've mentioned on the dark table when Mohammed was there, and now there's a, another guy. This guy's Iranian. Well, I didn't understand he bought the store. I thought he was just working there. 
because I don't see, you know, I don't get out that much to see somebody every day. Mm-hmm. Right. So today, I, I, for some reason, I asked him, you know, what what's going on with Muhammad? And he says, oh, I bought the store from him eight months ago. And I, I had to tell him I didn't understand that. I thought you were just working. I said, no, this is mine. I went cool. Now, the moral of the story is still this guy is my sworn fucking mortal enemy because he's a, a, a Muslim and I'm a Jew. And we get along fine. Oh. So, you know, the understanding we have about the whole thing is it's all politics. Got nothing to do with us as people and especially visiting a third uh, third country. So why would we want to be aggressive to each other here and, you know, where things are good? Mm. Well, there's a real world and then there's the world we read about. And But the stuff that really happens in a normal daily fucking life is so boring that wouldn't sell a newspaper. So they got to create and, and, exa- and exaggerate and build on shit. Yes. It's, because th- it's the fiction. truth is boring as fuck, isn't it? Hmm. You know what I would like to see happen with this internet? We have this incredible tool at our fingertips called the internet. Uh-huh. And on that internet, buried in between all the shit, there's the truth. There is uh, the truth in there. And you could put it in order to fit your life. You know, what foods are good for you? Uh, you know, how do you react to electricity? Blah, blah, blah. All the things that I've gotten into over the years. You know, the wavelengths and the positives and the negatives and all that. The attractions in life and the, the shit you want versus the shit that you're told you want. Yeah. Ooh, you know you want it. You know you want it. You know you do. <laughs> well, I used to be a salesman for, you know, I, I've sold quite a few products. So I know the dynamics behind a sale. And knowing that tells you everything you want to know about life. It's all a fucking scam. All of it. Nothing that you see or do is real. True. <clears throat> now, the part that is real to me that I think after all these years that makes sense is how I feel about the stuff is real. The stuff doesn't have to be real for me to feel something about it. I just have to be told something in a certain way to get me in- interested in it. Ah. You don't think so? Mm. Well, okay, I'll yeah. Give you an example. We'll look at when uh, we had a guest on. I won't. I won't pick on anyone, Becky. I am. Mm. But she had a topic. I wasn't pleased with the topic, and I had walked over the topic. And I think I upset her at the time, but it was something I got no experience in, got no opinion in, so I didn't want to talk about it because I got nothing to say. Uh, well, yeah. And there are some topics that, yeah, I just... Yeah, there's some... It, how, it would be like me telling my wife what to do during her um, cycle. Are you stupid? She knows what to do. She's been doing her, you know, her adult life. So my input is pointless. Yes. Right. Well, that's the same mentality I have towards some topics. Not too many. There's just a few of them. But the shit that needs to be attended to, like, boy, if you tell the Jews to fuck off and croak, people get mad at you for it. Hmm. Yeah. You know, because those poor Jews, their tanks are attacked every day by little kids with rocks. You know, those mm-hmm. terrorists and their rocks, not the terrorists with their fucking tanks and somebody else's land. Yeah. And then you, we got a whole fucking generations full of idiots that are raised to believe this land grab was a religious war. They can't read a fucking map because it wasn't. You know, they, they're they trying to remove history, Mary. Yeah. They, if you look at a fucking map made before 1945, you see Palestine, where Israel's at. How do you explain that? Mm, yeah. Who did they take it from? Yeah. Excuse me? No, that was Arab land. And, and the world's full of people that just believe the story they're told. 
Yeah, oh, I know. I'm related to some that say there is no real, there is no such thing as Palestine. Oh, really? Since when? Did you come from an alternate universe? Hmm. Yeah. Well, an alternate history, because they write history to suit the story they're preaching. Yes. Otherwise, they would lose control. They got a huge following. You know, like the Catholics, what, 60 fucking 5 million Catholics in America. Okay? So if you want to hit it, remember when I went mad about 2 million people assembled because there was a fucking ball game then. There was no violence. And the big deal was the violence. He said, there was your opportunity. You had 2 million people together, and you could have told them all, hey, look, the medical system is a fraud. And this is this proves it. And give everybody that Rockefeller information all at one time. Oh, yeah, that would okay. that yeah. would be an overdose to their poor widow minds. No, 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 because 10 percent are going to do it and 90 percent are going to ignore it. You're only looking for 10 percent. Yeah. You're overachieving. See? Yeah. Because out of that 10%, if you got half of those people, because that's the cream of the crop, is the 10 that look at it and go, hmm, what is this? We must investigate and follow it through from the beginning to the end and make a decision. Well, those fuckers are going to do something about it. Yeah. So the 90% that do the following, their input doesn't matter one way or the other. And here we are, the ones that publicly get on internets and sites and whatnot and we still don't can't agree on any fucking one thing to get any momentum going because we're split up into two smaller groups yeah yeah but the illusion is fun i think you know i get to see the world without leaving my house so i don't have to go anywhere anymore now i can see the world and do it from the hold on my, from the privy of my own barking dog's living room. And, hmm. Yeah. Wow. Hannah Banana just wants to be on the radio, too. No, uh, I guess some kids were walking down the street, and she wants to go oh. play with them. Oh. Dog, dogs talk to you, lady, let me tell you. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Mine talk to me all the time. So, anyway, I think that Palestine is uh, it, it's an experiment that it's not like a present, past, or future, like a timing thing, but whatever happens to Palestine happens to the states, or has at some time in its life, in its period, history period. Well, you know, and I think maybe part of the reason why so many people do not have a problem with Israel, you know, taking over their land is number one they've been told they're the chosen ones well yeah they never bother to tell you what they were chosen for that's number one number two you know america did pretty much the same thing we came over and just kind of took it over and then said it but we took it over spoils of war kind of thing you were just savages and israel's treating palestinians the same way we treated Native Americans. Not saying that the Native Americans were all totally peaceful because, yeah, they had their issues as well. But, yeah, we did a dirty. Israel does a dirty. And, you know, you are the company that you keep, basically. And I got some, some simple questions about that mentality, right? Mm-hmm. So you, you're talking hundreds of years ago when life was simpler and you had to work harder just to survive the day. Mm -hmm. There was thousands of people out there traveling around looking for new things. Yeah. I think it's contradictory. Maybe from Europe or within Europe, but the American shit that I've seen pictures of and whatnot, I think the weather and the, and the places I've been to and the times of year I've been there and looking back and if I had been there a couple of months later or earlier, I would have been in a shit, shit storm. Yeah. So I, I think people were more, uh, they stayed in one place. There was less of them, obviously. Yes. So I think history has been twisted and bent a little bit to encourage the modern day mind to believe that this is how it's supposed to be because this is all how it's always been 
Yeah, I don't believe that. Yeah, yeah, and I had that. I had that argument. Well, I've had that argument multiple times, but I remember one time having that argument with someone when I was on city council, and uh, someone else had come up with a better way of doing things. You know, a, a more efficient way of doing things in one of the departments, and the department head said, um, "But we've always done it this way." And I said, "So if you've always done something wrong, mm -hmm. does that make it any less wrong?" <laughs> exactly. I don't know. Well, maybe yeah. You know, maybe it's the like I was saying about how it makes you feel about shit. Because life is mostly about how you feel about it, and very little of of what takes place actually does anything to you. Yeah, you know, it's a, a building falls down across town, and, and what five people get killed. I know two of them. I feel bad because I know two of them. Yeah. If I didn't know two people, well, how would that change my feelings? Same thing happened. But because I didn't know the people, it doesn't bother me so much. Yeah, I get that. I get right. that. But we weren't supposed to be living the way we do. True. Okay, so they got the the food and the water are, are have additives and shit in it. And the sky is polluted with shit so that we'll behave a certain way for the good of society. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, society has failed. It's a failed fucking experiment over, a, I would say, a, a, an area that with a population of more than 10,000 is dangerous. Stop it. Yeah. <clears throat> and they would argue back with me, well, then we can't do all this global schmobile shit. And I'd say good fuck it yeah you know if that's if th this is the price we have to pay to get our shorts made in fucking china i'd rather go free balling Ooh. Ooh. you know or my my wife can knit she can knit me some knickers <laughs> hey there you go Better get some Danish knickers knitted in by a real Dane. <laughs> yeah. You know what Instead you... Instead of Chinese shorts. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> okay, what you were talking about with this whole, you know, what we were told and all this other fun stuff, I yeah. was, I was, you know me, I was scrolling on Twitter, and Truth or Bot put on here, we are caged by our cultural programming. Culture is a mass hallucination. And when you step outside of the mass hallucination, you see it for what it's worth. That's from Terrence McKenna. And yeah, you see it for what it's worth. It's a, it's a control mechanism. It's designed yeah. to yeah. keep you not liking that guy over there because he's a different color or he prays a different way or he dresses a different way or he sleeps with people that you want to sleep with too and that's just not cool or you know whatever so yeah not hurting a damn person anywhere but by god i hate him well i i must admit when i go to the grocery store you know i've learned to read certain things because items that I want will have a certain word on it. So I need to know that in order to get the right thing. Right? Uh-huh. Okay. But it's very simple and very basic. I mean, I, I can't just read like a newspaper. But I think that is the key to my comfort here. Uh-huh. Not being able to read their fucking language. I don't feel any uh, confinement from it, from what's around me. I feel very free. Well, and see, that's that's the key right there. It's how you feel. And everybody yeah, well, else that's... is trying to, you know, there are people in this world that seem to think that they need to control how you feel and, con you know, and, and change yeah. the yeah. way you feel. And yeah. it's not their business. No, but they're taught it is through the school system, indoctrinations, churches, and education and politics are your enemy. Yeah. These organized fucking groups that want you to do what they say while they do something fucking else. And these cunts need to be stopped, but there's too many of them, so you can't stop them, but you can avoid them. Ah. 
it's a hard it's a hard life to say no to society society doesn't like to hear no society's got two dicks and <laughs> she don't care what you think yeah I'm telling you hey think about it. see you don't have the physical experience of society i have good or bad right and i don't have yours yeah. so when people talk to each other you know, you're living your life and I'm living my life. So when you tell me about something you did, I'm comparing it to something I'm familiar with somehow. You know, otherwise I wouldn't understand that any, anything. True. Right. Cause mm -hmm. you were saying like, I'll give you a point. You were, you were working for, as a, a car hop girl. Mm hmm. Right. Mm hmm. Now I never worked as a car hop girl. Yeah. But I did look at car hop girls. So <laughs> therefore, I had visual da ha. I knew what you were talking about. I'd seen one. Uh -huh. it, this, is how, th this is how I think our minds work. Yeah. So when somebody brings up something to you, you got no f real physical hands-on experience from it, but you've read about it or you've heard about it, but not actually done it yourself, then your perception's different. Yes. And that's how they trap us into agreeing to shit like these fucking uh, inoculations. Yeah. Good yeah. Lord. I'm so fucking glad that when I had my reproductive years, it was before all this shit took off. My kids are well grown and, you know, on their own and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. And then now I've kind of upset everybody with um, Circle. Ah. Yes, I'm a bad boy, so everybody's always mad at me for something. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, you know, at, at my age, I figured, ah, fuck it. I'm going to please myself, and the rest of the world can kiss my lily white butt. And you know what? What? I don't think they give a shit. No, not really. I believe that people are just trying to survive the day just like me. You know, you get through the day. And yeah. then you got another day. Yeah. Yeah. But during the day, I don't sit around here worried about the Russians attack in Denmark or, oh, I don't know. What, could go, what, could, what would happen in America that I would never expect to happen here? Oh, the police could hit the wrong house in a raid and shoot four people. Yeah. And they're Danish. Danish has got their fucking problems. But in the bigger populated cities, the smaller the city you're in, the more peaceful and quiet. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Well, OK, but see what's what is our problem has. How do you, how you identify what social the social problem is, is the scope of the size of it. It's too big. Yeah. 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 Too many people think being a billionaire is cool. It's just ignorant. Instead of, I think that if we were to write a book about what is out of the choices available, what is best for us, not what is legal and what does the fucking Rockefeller family say or the Bushes, but what's best for us as human life. Okay, is that a question towards me? A question towards anybody. I don't know. How did you hear it? I think we should compile a a document and figure out what the best things are that are, that are available, what the best things are that, for us out of what's available. Instead of all this, I want my shirts made in China. And I want my golf clubs made in Australia, you know, so I can be international and have uh, exotic shit from all over the fucking world. Yeah, it, I'm supporting the global economy. Mm. It's a fucking, it's bullshit. For one, there is no fucking economy. You're a, you're a hostage to a fucking bank. Uh, yeah. Oh, come uh, on. To if a piece was... of, you're actually, you're a hostage to a piece of paper, you know, because. Well, okay paper or not but it, the way society runs is as though there's no other way than financial means to support a lifestyle yeah 
Yeah, that's it's that's like, the that's the big lie we were told. Is it? Oh, there's no way that you can just you know like, oh hey, I have extra. Would you like some? You know, you can't do that. By right, God, they punish you for giving away shit too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. All these all these powers that these illusions have over the collective is by consent. Yeah. Okay, well, I've been not consenting for a long time, and I'm telling you, not consenting is not as popular as you may think. Well, yeah. I'll bet you think, like, oh, maybe one out of a, a hundred thousand might not consent. I would beg to differ. I would say it's a little higher than that, but it looks better it looks like there's more people that, that do than really do. Well, yeah, that's because they're just kind of sort of, they're silent in their non-consenting, I guess you would say. No, I would yeah, say there's yeah, probably yeah, one in a hundred. You know, if you were taking the the, uh, the United States population, mm -hmm. more, well, actually, probably more than one in a hundred maybe one in one in every 50 just really does not consent period and is vocal but, about but, it and what kind of group did they join to support their individual side <laughs> see what i mean well see and that's why nobody really knows because they don't join groups they're not group joiners yeah there's all kinds of them groups full of people now yeah 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 i mean it was like this when i was young now there's what feminism and magtows and antifas and all kinds of goofy five letter name shit fucking groups of people. Well, the if you're if you're individual, what do you need a fucking group for? Yeah. Okay. So what happened to me in my life? It, th this is just the play of life. I live in a uh, in in a place where I'm surrounded by status. Yeah. They love their state. Not, they, they never complain. They're not sitting around moping and shit. They're happy, nice people just doing their little slave things, and they don't give a fuck about any of that. Yeah. But where I come from is people that were being awakened to, hey, wait, there's no tax law. What are you talking about, no tax law? What do you mean? Driving isn't traveling isn't driving. Driving isn't traveling. What? There's a difference? What the hell? <laughs> yeah. Admiralty Court, what is that, a new serial? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of like Captain Crunch, only it doesn't just tear up the roof of your mouth. It tears your ass, too. But <clears throat> uh, Okay, but there's more than one side to this uh, liberty and freedom crap that we're all taught. Yeah. And... There's no way around the game. The game. If we're, if you can hear my voice right now, you're in the game, and I'm in it too. But yeah. I'm, I'm, um, a, an aware victim of what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Hmm. I'm very careful about what I sign. Blah blah blah. You know, don't cause trouble in society and draw a lot of attention to, you know, oh, I want to be the leader of the world. Donald Trump bullshit. Yeah. Who wants to be Could, the leader? I mean, yeah, well, playing right, follow wait, the wait, leader wait, wait, wait. is fun, but yeah. But doing on top that. of that, Mary, who could possibly believe that that fucking moron Donald Trump is capable of sitting down and doing anything besides what? I can't imagine what the guy is good at. I mean, he's got, what, four bankruptcies. He's the king of fucking thieves, and he's running the, you know, he's a front man for the bad guys. Oh, yeah. Is what he is. He's the face well, on the bullseye right now. You know, that's the, that's the face that you throw darts at. That's basically all he is. And, yeah, he mm -hmm. gets to stand up there and, and mm -hmm. ruffle his feathers and puff up his chest and say, I did that, I did that. And it's like, yeah, you, yeah, you just go right ahead there, darling. <laughs> it's the same as if I did it. Yeah. yeah. It would be, okay, it's just the, the storyteller and the name of the person the storyteller tells about makes the difference in, in a follower's reality. The names draw them to it. You know, ooh, I'm in that group. Ooh. 
<laughs> I would not want to be in a group that involved Donald Trump. Yeah. Nor would I want to be in a group that involved Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Moosey's here. Moosey! Hey, Moose. She woke up early to come and join, and join our, our chitter-chatter. Yeah. But, and Dorky Lynn joined, and then she quit again. Darn it. Oy. Anyway, so I don't think that the Queen of uh, Denmark's going to be inviting me and in Cirque the Tea tomorrow or anything anyway. Oh, man. But when we lived in Copenhagen, I I enjoyed it. I thought Copenhagen was, for, for a city that size, it was very comfortable. Well, cool. But I could see the changes coming. And since we've moved, she's come home from work a couple times saying, boy, there was some problems in Nabal, and we should, I, we, I'm so glad we moved. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, I have a uh, a way of explaining, I guess, the way I see things to certain people. And depending on how close I am to that person, they listen to what I say. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, in this case, this little woman decided to do it. It yeah. changed her life. Yeah, she's way more comfortable. She was outside. She goes, oh, I'm going to go sit out in the garden. She was out there cleaning up her garden today and, you know, doing the lawn and all that. Yeah, I was going to uh, mow today, and unless it dries out a little bit, I'm not going to be able to get that done. So, damn it. Well, the way I understand it from Cirque, though, is she didn't grow up with this. Yeah. So now she has it. Now she knows what it, what she wants. Uh-huh. <laughs> making faces at me. So, yeah. well, it's easy to say um, things are good when they're good. Yeah. It's not and, so easy but, to say things are good when, when they're a little yeah. bit tougher. Yeah. And she's the one that's, it's always good, no matter how good or bad it may look or be at the time. Yeah, she's, she's not a whiner like that. Hell yeah, because it's, I mean, so long as you're still breathing, it's all good. That's the way I mm. look at it. She's only Jewish by penetration. Ah. Ew, ew. Lucky, that lucky girl. TMI. <laughs> hey, well, I'm telling you, you know, these people think they got problems. Shit, I started out in that fucking bad side of a knife. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't had a violent life by any stretch of the word, you know, but I probably saw, I guess what we, what you would call, uh, I guess average because oh. in your life, in your lifespan, you're going to see good and bad, mm -hmm. but depending on, on your, I guess, personal luck is going to dictate how much violence you either see or encounter. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, Dorky Lynn joined again. Yay. Well, maybe they're having trouble in England popping in and out. Yo, I think she was having coming. she was having trouble with her phone last time I knew. So I don't know phones. <laughs> yeah, you know I still don't I still don't have a phone. I mean, I got a relic of a phone. That's as far as I'll go, and I can never carry it. Mm. My, it's sad. Yeah, my mother's got one of those flip phones, and she said she would be ever so sad when they decide to quit making those because she doesn't want a smartphone. But she, that flip phone is nice and small, and she can just carry it in her pocket and zip it shut. And then that way, when she goes for walks, she's still got it. And they were they were trying to talk her into getting one of those lifeline things, you know, those necklace thingies that you wear. I've fallen, and I can't get up. She said, I don't want one of those. <laughs> and they, they keep telling her, you know, she says, I've got my phone. And they said, well, what if you can't dial your phone? Well, if I can't dial my phone, then I sure as hell can't push that stupid button. To say, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> wow. I'll, I don't have that luxury, I don't think. Oh, uh, well, I just... Well, mm. Some some people, I, I don't know how you put it, but I avoid um, dramatic, violent acts, be they accident or just, you know, acts of a tantrum. Yeah. Oh, Dorky just fell out. Darn it, Dorky Life. Lynn. Hey, well, oops. 
or got the phone locked on the RLM again. Uh, I don't know. I have problems with with phones and internet and stuff. I'm not very good with this here shit either, Miss Mary. Don't don't worry about it. It'll all be better. Anyway. See, and to me, that's that's the problem with them, their smartphone thingies. That's why I don't know what, I think the only reason I have a smartphone is I can text with it. Because my other phone, I couldn't text with it. Well, how could you live without it you um, know, at this point in life? I mean, see, my wife, career, blah, blah, blah. If she didn't have all that shit, I'd tell her, let's fucking leave. Let's go to Croatia. Yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of Denmark and, you know, go Go live somewhere where it's warm for the end of your life, you know. But right now, she still likes Denmark, so you stay here. There you go. But I'd probably want to go south. <laughs> oh, if the shit hits the fan, blah, blah, blah. I hear all that shit since I was like 12 years, 11, 12 years old. I, I had a group of cousins that were teenagers at when I was like 7, 8, 9, 10. They were 14, 15, 16, 17. And my input in the, as I was developing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it had wicked sense of humor. My cousin Johnny, when I was eight, taught me how to play chess. <laughs> it was go. like, well, he was older, well, a lot older than me, patient, and knew how to explain to me to do things and why you have to do things. Made the game fun. See, my brother Danny did that. He taught me how to play. He taught me a lot of different, you know, how to play chess, um, how to play mm -hmm. pool, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And he never, ever, yeah. never, ever let me win. Wow. Yeah. No, well, my dad was like that. He was a hard ass. So when I, but see, the, this, the, the story behind that, though, is when you beat them, you know you did. Because they would never bow down to make you feel good about it. You got to really beat them. So if it's important to you, to that level, then you'll just keep going until you do it. Yeah. And eventually you're going to. Yeah. The odds are with you. Nobody has 100% at anything for long. You, you're going you're gonna to fall. That's, that's the balance of life. It's the beauty of life. Okay. What? Life okay. is a balance. Come on. Yes, life good. is a balance. No, I was just, I was looking at the, the RLM chat and it says oh. Freaker's Ball. It's like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe he's playing his show. <laughs> no, Welcome it says now live computer. Freaker's Ball. Dork but table. No. Yeah. Oh, now live the dork table. Yeah. Now it got corrected. Hammy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you poor thing. No, Thank I was just, you, I was Peter. looking at it and it's like, oh, that's weird. Well, and I know my thing is, is still going. So, huh. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Do you have enough police control in your life today? I don't think about it. I don't see them. Oh, so it, I don't think what, about last, it. Last week I was talking, I listened to this guy talk. I always butcher people's names. I'm so bad at telling names right. Uh, Ron Stevens, not Ray. Ugh. Yeah. So, yeah, but he's really, he's a draw. He's running for an office. So he's a statist minus minded kind of guy. And I disagreeing or not agreeing isn't the point is he is explaining the more logical side of his argument to a side of people that he knows aren't really understanding it. But he tries. But he knows that that that, that liberal shit's just taken over, and nothing's going to get fixed. Yeah. Okay. So me and Cirque were watching a link together, and uh -huh. the point, or listening to Ron talk about the, uh, we were listening to the link together, and he's talking about how when George Bush changed the borders of the United States with Mexico and Canada. And I've made comments to Cirque about that over the last couple of years. And now she's hearing other people, old my, old guys like me, making references to it. So there, there are no borders anymore. There are in your mind, okay? There uh -huh. are when you go down there and they have enforcement and all this cops and shit. That's all real. But the borders aren't real anymore because they made deals on – higher levels than we're told about and when we're told about it it's too late to undo it 
That's why the presidents do it, and it takes like 10 years, 20 years for what they've agreed to to take shape and go into action. That's why there's not going to be any border wall. That, that's got to be making Trump laugh deep down inside because there's nothing to build a wall on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well yeah, they gave away – the documents go back to 2005. Look it up. I mean, fuck. I have. Anyway, and besides that, whether you believe in borders or not, one way or the other, the thing that matters is if there's people to enforce these fucking rules that these other crazy people are putting on us. Yeah. You know, for well, the good of everybody, they're yeah. doing us a lot of harm. Well, because they're, they're squiggles and lines and they're on a piece of paper and, and damn it. Well, anyway. Okay. But well, but that's that's basically what is, it is. You know, you get enough so people up. together and they start going, oh, but it's it's squiggles and lines on a piece of paper. So therefore, we must do what those squiggles and lines, what they tell us those squiggles and lines mean. We must do that. Well, is, is this your observation from far? What are you basing that on? Well, you know, just from different communications with people, you know, and... Mm -hmm. and and listening to some people say, oh, but but it's a law or it's a rule yeah, or it's a yeah, this or yeah. it's a that. And it's Compliance. like just okay. because someone wrote it down on a piece of paper does not make it right or true. That is the core of their belief system. Are you insane? Yeah, I am. You, you're going to send these people out. Man, their tumors are going to bleed if they ever had to face that. I know. Everything that we were taught in school is bullshit. Mm -hmm. All of it, even the fucking language I'm speaking to you in today, right now, is all based on misrepresentation and deceit. Yeah, lost in translation. Mm -hmm. Well, otherwise, if the population wasn't treated as a whole in the first place and people were just left alone to their communities, whatever that is, this wouldn't, this global shit wouldn't happen. Wouldn't be a need for it. But that's not what we're taught. I think, I think it's like being held captive and forced, but whatever. Yeah. I've been fighting that argument all my whole life, but Hey, out of the two of us, you got the driver's license. Yeah. Well, and all that proves in the long run, and the only reason I harp on it is to survive in life, it is a lot easier to comply. Yeah, but... That's all. Yeah, That's and it. sometimes Not you it. just have to decide what you're willing to comply with and what you're... Exactly. Yep. And me, I, cr I crossed the line with a um, passport because I didn't want to be confined to one prison. So I played the passport game. Mm-hmm. But the rest of it, nah. I had to go uh, reinstate all kinds. Boy, just for a fucking trip to to Scotland. To <laughs> Jesus Christ. And it's such, I, I've, you know, got good and bad memories of certain things. Yeah. And But playing the game is so obvious because there's so little of it to remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I've never been a, a team player. Always went against the grain there, little missy. I bet you didn't know that. Yeah, I'll, I kind of noticed I'll, that. I'll bet you thought I just went along with the crowd and did what everybody else was doing. <laughs> That's what I think. But no. <laughs> but no. no I, I, well, I don't really believe that everybody does anything. Do what? I don't believe that everybody, whoever they are, does anything. I believe that the information that's available is taken and rewritten in a way that will get us to see it in the light that we see it in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Me, I come out of it with, boy, this is one hellacious mushroom trip. And these people are fucking hysterical because to take it seriously would probably drive me um, to suicide. 
<laughs> well, you have already committed societal suicide because you stepped oh. away from a lot of that shit. Yeah, but see, Cirque, Cirque didn't want to. So and, Yeah, and that's okay. Was, yeah, but I, I was ready to go home and do things my way, and she said, nope. <laughs> so I've I won. I think nothing's nothing bad came out of that. I'll tell you. And there's always going home. So yeah, I don't really want to though. So there, you know, that's like, what do you call it? Um, that shit that you don't want that life gives you. Oh yeah, that the contrast okay. that you need in order to understand what you really do want. Right, because to be really blunt that american passport is a very fucking powerful document to have to play the game with mm -hmm. you know it pulls a lot of weight just because the americans are such fucking bullies and if you don't play the game then you might not be there tomorrow yeah yeah that's some serious shit in some places you know? oh i know i know and it can get you in some serious shit in some places too you're on american Bam. No, no, I've heard Hillary had her, had her way with a few people over the years. Yeah. She's... You know, because, I mean, just the coincidence of all of a sudden a guy that she's running against just disappears, dead. Yeah. See? He shot himself in the back of the head 12 times. Yeah, and it was suicide. Yep. Mm -hmm. So he said, shot himself. Anyway. Yeah. But, these things, now, whether they're real or not, they're repeated and they're spoken of. See? Ah. Oh. Right. There's only two wavelengths, and you can't be in both of them at the same exact moment. you got to pick one. But it does move so fast on the wavelength because our brains are so quick that you can be mad and happy, angry and this and that and the other all inside of two or three seconds. Mm. Depend on what you think of. Yeah. Think of yep. three different things and you'll get three different emotions from depending on, of course, what they are. But, you know, don't don't wade through the shallow end. Go go dive into the water and, and explore shit. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I think the world's full of a bunch of sissy girls. Sissy girls don't want to do nothing except look at their iPhones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like I was bragging about last week, I'm telling you, I didn't grow up with any of this shit. So if it ever vanished, I could replace it <clears throat> inside of 10 minutes, baby. I'd be re I'd be on to some, th some other thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. And then, of course, say, I got me a new hobby. Uh, oh, you yeah? ready for this? What's uh, that? You You're not going to believe it. Ready. Okay. Yeah. Last year, I went to the store for uh, bay leaves, and they sell them in a little pot, you know, mm -hmm. so you can pick them off the bay leaf plant. And mm -hmm. Anyway, so Cirque had gone through her bay leaf, and there was one plant left, and I've turned that one plant into a tree. <laughs> it's about a, a quarter inch thick now. Cool. Yeah, and it's about two feet tall. Oh. So I, I, yeah, I started planting other shit. And <laughs> so now I'm like farmer inside Brown. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, my, my plants are surviving. Yay. Yeah, Yay. It's like, it's like a gift I didn't even know I had. Isn't that cool though to find stuff like that? It's like, oh wow. I didn't know I could do it. This is so cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll do a Skype with you and show you this new plant. She got or my, my either mother-in-law or sister-in-law or the two of them together. Anyway, we got this tree that it's like these branches that are wrapped around each other. And uh, at the then the at the top is the leaves. But it's a uh, it's a twisty kind of um, what would you call it? Uh, the, the stock mm -hmm. stump. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know what to call it. It's. It's weird, but it's. I'll show it to you on the internet sometime, on the Skypey thing. I'm looking at it. I just can't even figure out how to describe it to you. It's so bizarre to me. It's like something out of South America or something. And it's so got is it kind of like bright... a bonsai tree or something? 
Yeah, it's about three foot tall. I'll I'll Skype and and I'll show it to you. I got a Skype on my on my uh, my Linux computer. Ah. Uh. But I don't have um, this all uh, all this stuff that I got here on Linux. I got this stuff on my Windows. But the Windows computer doesn't have a. I tried an external um, camera, but it just bad. I got a terrible one. I didn't I didn't pick a good one. I should have thought it out better. You know, did one of those dork things. So anyway, what I thought of is I got it on the other computer. I'll use that one instead. <laughs> ah, cool. And and just a, avoid buying one for this one. But I think we're going to stop doing the dork table. At, what, you want to do one more next week? Well, next week and the week after, yeah. um, I will be gone because I will be oh, doing next, family no, stuff. Oh, okay, No, no, the week no. after that. So that, that first weekend in June... I don't yeah. have anything going, but then my summer gets crazy. Yeah, well, let's just kill let's kill off the dork table because well, it wouldn't be the same doing trying to do it by myself. I'm not I'm not a solo show. Well, we can we can have one more. We can do like a dork party on the last one. Oh, okay, you want it? So you want to do one next Saturday? No, not next Saturday. No, next Saturday, next I'm Saturday. gone. Next set, so the week, the, um, and the, the next one I am gone as well. It would be oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. second of June. Boy, if I'm still alive, I'll meet you here for that. Okay, yeah, because the nineteenth and the twenty sixth, I will be gone both of those days, and yeah, actually, with the way things have worked out with my daughter, I'm going to have grandkids both of those. Yeah, so. but replacing you on here is not possible. There is only one Gramsci dork, and you are it. Well, yeah. If they, if God made more than one, then Lord, 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 the world would have imploded hey, a long time Vinny's ago. Got to leave. Oh, later, Vin. Mm. Well, I'm just saying, it's not like the the end of the world or anything. And just, yeah. I just do better. I have more fun with this talking to somebody else than to do it solo. Yeah, well, you know, and it like, is it is fun, you know. Like Grim and Moose, uh, it's too funny. Well, you should hear some of our shows. We, you're a funny guy, there, little Missy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have my moments. I do have my, my favorite. My favorite part is when I'm I'm deep in rant, and you're reading you're reading scripture off of Facebook. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I get you. <laughs> yeah, and it's well, not that I'm not paying attention. It's just that I know no. if I don't say something right now, I'm gonna squirrel moment and it'll be gone. <laughs> oh, she's uh, competing for the front of the bill. I see. Yes. Nah, you are the lead dork. Ain't no doubt about that. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. But yeah, Moose um, Grams has got. Um, gra secret fucking Gramsci shit to do and hey that supersedes clown business every time <laughs> yes yeah Moosey I do have a life and it's starting to get yeah. rather busy so what's that Gramsci trumps Gramsci dork <laughs> <laughs> yeah well I will always be a Gramsci dork but Gramsci dork and dozy dork and little lambsy divey but um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, who, I'm going to be having the grandkids quite a bit this, this summer and, and going to see my mom a bunch on weekends, so, yeah. Ew. The family ting. Yes, yes. Yeah. Boy, I'm running out of family. <laughs> yeah, it's a, Tell well, it. yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a hard person to get along with. Well, you know, and it happens. I mean, that's part of life. And so I've decided that I'm just going to enjoy while I can. So I'm going to. So there. Right. But, well, what? Okay. See, where does all the fighting in life come from? I, I read about it constantly. Fight for this. and Fight for that. And I just decided it 30 years ago. And there it was. Went, oh, cool. It's transparent. It's, my, it's how you think got nothing to do with what you have or what you don't have or what what you say or what kind of clothes you wear or none of that shit how long your fucking hair is all this illusion shit is just to distract you from the truth whatever the truth is we're not looking at it 
Yeah. Grammy's wanting to know uh, yeah. if this is if this is a forever the end of the dork show or what, but um, well, I, I don't, don't know. know. Me, me and you get along at such a weird level. Sir always makes comments to me about it. She, 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 oh, you two are so funny together. <laughs> so now, and I, I don't know. I've known, I've known you longer than I've known her. So it's, yeah. I've known, I just marry. So it's easy. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. Chemistry is chemistry. I met Cirque and went, boom, I'm going to get one of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. So who knows? Maybe another radio. Pro- I did it with Vince for a while on and off. That was weird, though, because we were working on string and tin cans and prayer. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but it was fun. I mean, we had a blast doing it. See, and the difference thing. between you guys and me is I have duct tape instead of the prayer. So, yeah. Yeah. You got the big storm stuff. Yeah. I live out here in, in niggers gang rape your women land. <laughs> Ooh. That's what I read of, oh, for fuck's sake, Mary. It's so ridiculous. Yeah, I saw you know, something earlier on Twitter about that, um, that police lied to the public about a supposed something or other, something or other in Copenhagen or something. With, something with a 14-year-old story. girl or something like no, that. No, that was... Sounded more like Jetlin. Uh, it's the next mainland over from us. Mm. It's the biggest part of the island of the chain. You know, oh, it's like okay. a island chain, right? But the main, uh, the main meat of the of the Danish property is where it happened. And what it was is two black kids did a fourteen year old, blah blah blah, and uh. the police claim that because of the ages of the children, they didn't report it to the press. They didn't, you know, didn't say they didn't report it to the parents or the, you know, take proper responsibility. They just, the press is just stirring up the shit that they do to make things seem bigger than they truly are. Well, yeah, because, you know, you got to have that one aw shit in order to stir yeah. up the 99 attaboys. Yeah, that's the way it always works. Yeah, whenever you overpopulate, and these people, the Danes ain't stupid. They know what they're doing. So... They've kept it to such a minimum that they're going to still get a little shit, but it's going to be so small that when it does get reported, you get this kind of result. Yeah. Oh, the fucking rapist gangs. Yeah. Please. Yeah. yeah well, the rapist is the ones you got to worry about. They they get caught here. Ooh. You know, have you ever noticed, though, that usually when they say it's gang violence or gang this or gang that. Yeah. It's, right. They're always referring to someone with darker pigmentation. You know, they don't yeah, say that about, like, the the white prepper or preppy guys. <laughs> you know, then Nazis. it's, yeah, you know, they don't say that they're, you know, it's gang violence. I it's, don't know how to tell you this. I really don't know what exactly they say. I only know what I read on the, on the RLM or minds about it. Well, and the way I look I at it is just. You know, they're all freaking gangs, and the government is the biggest mafioso gang there is. And I don't give a shit if it's the U.S. government or the U.K. Yeah, government it, or what it's government. All the same. Yes, control. Mm-hmm. Just, uh, yeah, why else? It's like being in a freaking uh, prison. Yeah. You know, the, but see, because the Americans own my paperwork, and I'm not begging the Danish people for anything, my intrusion to their lifestyle isn't an intrusion. See? So I'm not, a, you know, I'm not the problem. Yeah. Well, and that's because you don't go out and make yourself a problem. Okay, I saw a black kid on a skateboard in Freddy Town when I went to go get milk today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, and you didn't throw something under his skateboard to, and then say Fuck, he attacked no. me. Well, that kid was, kid was cracking me. And what these, some of these uh, sidewalks are cobblestones, and the roads are cobblestone, or um, tiles. And this kid's crazy. Kids out there on a fucking skateboard don't give a fuck. Playing, you know, riding it anyway. <laughs> I thought it was cool as shit. Ah. But, it is yeah, it well, is cool to watch. Man, I watch kids. Well, actually, last time I went out to visit the grandkids, um, I took them over to the the uh, roller skating and and skateboarding 
you know, where they have the ramps and all that funky shit. And man, watching them do all that stuff. And I, I had to do a really, really serious control the butt pucker. Do not <laughs> yell at them. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, so on the way back from the this store, I see a woman on a bicycle on a cobblestone road. And you know what I realized at that moment? What? I just witnessed how the vibrator was invented. <laughs> oh, Moosey, you're so ride. funny. <laughs> I'm a racist. Oh, oh no. Um, that's just so funny. It, no, but... The point is, the point is, is that here in, in where I live is just so peeved. It's dead. Yeah. It's the second most boring place I've ever lived. Yeah, but isn't it just fun? And see, I watched a video earlier today along those lines um, over on Facebook, and I wound up sharing it. Um, some guy was talking about there is this there is this mother who was born with a natural tan and her little boy, and they're at a playground, you know, a public playground, and the other kids would not let him get up on the slipper slide. And then when he was over playing on the little teeter-totter thing, they were coming over and harassing him over there. She wow. was being ever so patient and ever so wonderful, you know, and just, you know, trying to talk to the kids and, and just, you know, not being aggressive or anything. But these children with their parents there were taunting this poor little kid. He wasn't doing anything but wanting to play right along with them. And merely because he had a natural tan, you know, they would not let him play on the slipper side or what have you. You know, it was it was almost I'm and seriously, I I you know how my brain works. Soon as I saw it, it was like, you know, all of the other reindeers wouldn't let him play the reindeer games. It's like you son of a bitches. And. And it just, it really, it irritated me, but I was so proud of that mama for handling it so well. And then as she's walking by all the other parents who, you know, she had been sitting on the benches talking with them earlier. And and they weren't doing anything to call down their kids for being little douches. You know, why were they being such a bully to this little kid who all he wanted to do was just play along with everybody else? But, you know, one of them actually called him a little monkey. And it's like, what the hell? What the hell? You know, to me, I call my grandkids little monkeys just because they run around and hang off of shit. And, you know, they they act like little monkeys. There's there's no pigmentation stuff. It's the behavior that, that they don't throw shit. But, you know, not anymore because they've outgrown that. But, <laughs> you know, it just it's so infuriating that parents don't just freaking step up and... And let their kids know, and parents, I think, need to grow up first, you know, and let them know that, hey, this is uncalled for behavior. Just because that child has a better natural tan than you, don't do that. That's not cool. You know, so it, <sighs> parents need to lead by example. They need to teach their children by example to not behave like assholes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because it's a choice you make. Come on. Well, I know it's a choice you <laughs> At make. At a certain but, age. Come on. Even, but, you know, even little knows. ones, little ones, they they behave the way they see their parents behave or the adults around them behave. And so, you know, if parent, if the adults around them can't actually be freaking adults, mm. you know, then. Hey, Rob, are you still here? Type. Yeah. If you're hanging around. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, Moosey, no one is no one is born racist, but little kids, I man, those little kids, that just really it made me very sad to see that kind well, of behavior. You're still you're still taught that. You're either taught it or you're not. We weren't taught it, so we didn't get it. Yeah, I wasn't taught to be that way. No. Nah, but you it's know, still I live in I live in rural Denmark, so when I see dark people in this town, it stands out. And we just smile at each other when we pass by. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's not an exception. Life. You know, it's just noticeable because the contrast. Yes, yes, because Denmark Shit. is what you said. Circles is the whitest person you know. <laughs> Pigmentation oh, yeah. wise. To, yeah, I made. Fun. Yeah, I sure. She, when in winter time, I said that she's so pasty white. I don't need to turn the light on. I just pull the sheets down. <laughs> <laughs> 
the glow, the glow will guide me. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like that. Well, <laughs> but I... now she's been out. Oh, she had the whole week just sitting around, and uh, she spent most of it outside in the yard. Oh, so she no longer fluoresces, huh? No, uh, she now she's kind of like striped. Oh. So she's, she's kind of like me then, because I'm I'm getting the whole uh, Neapolitan ice cream thing going again. Well, me and me and Cirque have an American-based marriage situation going on. I tell her what to do, and she don't fucking listen. <laughs> so when what I tell her will happen happens, and she comes and says, hey, "Blah blah blah," you go, "Yeah, how about that, huh?" <laughs> Chicago Bears, hey, all right. Yeah. Well, not buying something. I don't know. Let's see. Don't buy it. I'm not selling anything. Oh, don't really okay. care. Wow. What's that? Okay. No, She's I'm looking at wanting a Philly cheese sub with mushrooms. Okay. Throw away the uh, mushrooms, and I'd be good with that. Wow. She, you know what? Give, I don't Just, know. She likes to argue or something, but no. Eh. Fuck. I don't know anybody more mixed race than me, so if you think I give a fuck about her race, you got news coming to you. Well, I just know I'm a Heinz 57. My mother has done our genealogy, and good God almighty. Well, there's so many benefits to playing the race card in society that I can... I can see the allure to it, but I also see the cage that goes with it. Yes. Oh, yeah. And it's a cage we build for ourselves. Right. So it would be like if, uh, what Cirque said the other day, that if I got really bad homesick and I wanted to go to America, she'd, she'd do that for me. Yeah. But please bit of dirt's a bit of dirt what language you speak in the more you you think you understand other people the worse it is for you <laughs> but yeah when yeah. it's jibber jabber anyway unless people slow down and, and just speak simple english you know and i've noticed the the uh the demeanors of it you know how they behave doing it and it's usually the kids that want to move up in the world are you know they're in they're getting an opportunity to show that they spent time in school learning how to do this shit, and that this is how good they are at doing it. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know, in this little town, it's like a twentieth, twenty-first uh, century village. Yeah, it's a village with electricity. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah, there's more things you can't find here than there are things you can. Oh, it, I I know how that shit works. Right, exactly. But well, I didn't. I came from L.A. <laughs> yeah, where you can get I up, anything. I grew up with this 24-hour grocery store down the end of the block where I lived where I, from when I was seven years old. Oh. So I didn't know that till I was a lot older. I didn't know everybody didn't live the way that we lived. I thought everybody lived that way. Isn't that wild? You know, when you're a kid and you grow up and you, yeah. Don't question certain things. Don't even come to your mind. I yeah. was probably nine, nine or ten or eight, somewhere in there, nine, ten, eleven. That's that period when I started. Hey, what the fuck is this? <laughs> well, yeah, well, it's it's like when you know I was growing up. I was the same way. I didn't question. I just thought, wow, that's how everybody did it. it wasn't until I got into middle school that that I realized, wow, other people think that we're poor. I didn't realize we were poor. You know, I now, didn't realize I, it. You know, I grew up a poor Catholic child. Oh, no, God. I'm not so much stuck <laughs> but, on the money thing as the availability of uh, life, what there yeah. was around, what everybody grew up around and knew. See, and that it's, you know, it's just different subject, but the same basic premise. You know, we didn't realize that other people didn't live the way we lived. Oh, I learned that off of TV. You know how? How? There, there's two things in all American TV shows that are the same. No seasons, and nobody ever goes to the toilet. 
Oh, no, no. There are people that go to the toilet on TV. They don't on Star Trek, though. Have you ever noticed that? Star Trek, nobody ever went to the bathroom. <laughs> we talked about that a yeah. year ago. Apparently, well, in the okay. future, you don't have to go poop or pee anymore. <laughs> but outside, outside of a comedy or a, you know, a, a, a clip with a, a good-looking young girl sitting on a toilet seat with her drawers around her ankle, uh-huh. there's no other references in TV outside of the shocking or the, the necessary. You know? It's like it's an avoided thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, we all still do it, but the future shows us that we don't we don't have to. <laughs> Something's going to change in the future. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, so Mr. Spock shows you this. <laughs> of course, your your ears might hurt for a while, but hey. well, anyway. Yeah. No, yeah. we've talked about Star Trek on here. We've talked about what haven't we talked about? I asked you that one time, and you, you found something <laughs> in your bag of tricks. Yeah, but now um, I'm I'm trying to think of what we yeah. haven't touched on, because man, oh man. Oh, well, let's let's just assume the end of the world is scheduled by Washington D.C. for this week. For this week. Yeah, the end of the world. What are you gonna do? Well, I guess that just took dusting off of my list of things to do because it's like, why bother? <laughs> You've got the end of the world to contend with. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, if the end of the world is coming, I've got other things yeah. that I would much rather be doing w- with my time than like sitting what? around dusting. Oh, playing outside with the critters. Um, uh, yeah. Playing know. outside with the critters. Yeah. yeah, it's still cold here to me. This is this is May. <laughs> wow. Well, it's <laughs> a little bit on the cool side here, but you know, it's it's good going out and pulling weeds weather, so but I got to, you know, as soon as we get done with the dork table today, I got to get a roast going <laughs> and mm, I'm going to I'm going to do a roast with some Red potatoes and some uh, sweet potatoes and some onions and mmm. <laughs> uh, you're cooking in the kitchen, eh? Yes, cooking in the yeah. kitchen because no, it's I'm... cool outside. So I'm not going to do anything on the grill, but I'll I'll do something in here. Well, fingers is back up and running, and using both hands to do simple tasks. She is not capable of lifting yet. The hand is still pretty weak. I'm giving you an update on fingers. Yeah. Well, uh, and this too, you know, she'll she'll get past there. You know, she'll get so, better. And then what? then she'll then she'll have circles has kung fu grip with both hands again. No, I doubt <laughs> it. I, that, it's going to take a while for her to repair what the damage that was done. Yeah, but you know what? It's she's creating muscle memory it, with the and, more and working that she does. Yeah. So, but chances with, are with hey. working it and doing the physical therapy and working it, she yeah. may get to the point where I mean, it will still she her right hand will still be mm. her dominant hand, but she'll get kung fu grip with that hand. Let me tell you. Uh, 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 uh. Retraining you those make muscles. Me laugh. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, Chloe, red potatoes and sweet potatoes. Yes, you would be surprised. You know, if you don't, sweet potatoes, if you don't add, um, yeah, if you don't add the, anything sweet to them, if you just cook them like regular potatoes and do a little salt and little, uh, you know, seasoning salt or peppers or whatever. Um, I don't have carrots, Frumpy, because my bunny ate them all. <laughs> Bad bunny. And I don't want to run into town, so yeah, I'm doing sweet potatoes and and run into red town. potatoes. Yeah, well, it's it's a nine mile drive. I don't want to have to drive nine miles just to get carrots. Oh, it's a nine mile drive. I don't want to do that. I know. <laughs> I'm such a lazy ass. Lazy. Well, I don't know. Could maybe it could be your, your it, planning mechanism has failed you in the past. You weren't a prepper. <laughs> uh, well. And anyway, yeah. yeah, the end of the world. I think this is a good week for the end of the world. Well, but see, I haven't planted my carrots yet. 
I, I really want to have some carrots planted before the end of the world well, comes. Well, you've got until Friday, and that's it. Friday's oh. that's it. No more world. Say goodbye. What time Friday? <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Just Friday. No, it does matter because I'm I'm we'll leaving notice. I'm leaving to see my grandkids at noon. So <laughs> I was kidding. Wow. I, I want to if it's gonna if it's gonna come to the to an end. Let me be at my grandkids. <laughs> Hey, if I just predicted it, I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Damn it, Chloe, you beat me to it. <laughs> wow. So, boy, anything that happens bad next Friday, people are going to that, heard that going to say, hey, he did that. <laughs> hey, Jay Dredd, I'm doing roast beef, by the way. Roast beef. Yes. Uh, why are you cooking a roast beast for Jay Dredd? I'm are not cooking. No, I'm not cooking it for him. He wanted to know what kind of roasted beast was, or what kind of dead beast I was roasting, and it's beef. Why? Well, he's just curious. So it I doesn't make kind of beef, kind of meat. It is. Oof. Sure, it does. What kind of nosy question is that? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's wanting cooking tips. I don't know. I don't know. That, that... was funny, Miss Mary. Yeah, <laughs> he was hell. Hands wants advice. <laughs> well, <laughs> what what advice could you possibly give Hans that he might listen to? <laughs> Cooking tips. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weak. Cooking <laughs> tips. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've seen people do horrible shit to food before they handed it. For somebody else to eat. <laughs> oh, man. So, I saw one last night, a meme last night. Somebody had taken carrots and done them to where they look like they're sitting, you know, with little carrot arms and stuff. And yeah. and then they did a brown, brothy kind of soup, that, and they put the carrots in it. And it looks like it looks like the carrot was sitting like, like it had the runs. <laughs> uh -uh. You know, I, re I remember just a minute ago when I first got on to the interwebs and I was using the YouTube and whatnot, uh -huh. I opened up this link. I'm learning how to open links and whatnot. And uh, there's a guy that's on a videotape peeing into the coffee pots that are being. Ew. Yeah, he's peeing into a coffee pot. <laughs> so, and the thing was, he got. He got caught afterward because they saw it on the videotape. <laughs> mm. And it's 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 shit like that, right? That encouraged all this spying on each other shit over the years. Because well, hey, look, see the good it did. We caught this guy peeing in the coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't see the humor in that. <laughs> uh yeah. Mm, Come on. Wow. I mean, we live in a society where to make spying on you legal and acceptable by you, they got to show you somebody doing something disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do you know that maybe that wasn't just a video that somebody made and added, whoa, this, you know what I mean? To make the dream come true. <laughs> like Laverne and Shirley. Making right. their dreams come true. Yeah, it's it's well, isn't it crazy though? You know, you see some of that stuff and you go, "Damn, who in the obviously somebody thought this shit up because I'm seeing a video of it." But what the hell? Yeah. Mm. Well, what is it? You tell me. I don't. I don't know. But your it, turn it, to know everything. My turn to know everything. Well, some people just really like to have their fifteen seconds of fame, and they're willing to do just about anything to get that fifteen uh -oh. seconds of fame. Mm -hmm. And then the more people that get that fifteen seconds of fame, that fame, then everybody else all of a sudden goes, "Oh, well, you know, there's a video camera around here somewhere." Which I am truly thankful that I grew up in an era where we didn't have cell phones and video cameras everywhere yeah. to record all yeah. of the fuck-ups that I did as a kid. Big time. Yeah. Wow. But, um, yeah, they it, it gets it to where people are just, you know, they almost expect that someone is going to videotape it, and so then they become used to this whole surveillance mm -hmm. mindset yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's part of it. Yeah, it becomes well, a commonplace thing. 
And then when you try to explain things to other people like liberty and being free of the state, there you go. Game's yeah. over. Ooh, Chloe sent me a picture. Let me see what that is. Oh, yeah, sweet. Uh, sent you a picture of what? Yeah, of a carrot that's got its legs crossed like it's got to go potty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. See, I can't Vegetable wait to porn. I can't wait to get mine going, Chloe, because, um, you know, I keep, the weather is just not cooperating out here. And so I was hoping that this weekend I would be able to get that because, yeah. In any I case, just hope Hank doesn't see that carrot and get all excited and go try to get fluke again. Oh Usually. well, see w when we got um, seeds, we ordered from uh, Bear Creek Seeds. I think is who it was. Um, I don't have the catalog right close by, but in any no, not Bear Creek. I don't. Uh, I'll find the catalog. But in any case, um, we got some purple carrots and some red carrots. And then I have just regular carrot seeds as well. But the, the purple and the red ones are supposed to be loaded with more um, antioxidant and immune booster stuff. But Ooh. I can't wait to get those out there and planted and growing and doing their thing because ah, that'll be so cool. I mean, I've already got the, the seed potatoes for purple potatoes uh -huh. and for red potatoes and for yellow potatoes and for sweet potatoes. So, you know, already got that stuff. But, yeah. yeah. Carrot seeds are really, really small, and they get washed away really, really easy. And it's like, damn it! All right, I'm <laughs> gonna Skype you a link. Okay. Because you're the chattery, chitter yes. chatter guy. Yeah, I am chitter chattery. Today. <laughs> tell me what you know about this, because you're the gardener and you have animals and da 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 da. And if you don't already know, then I need to introduce you to it. Okay. My problem is the translation. I'm working on this, translating this into Danish and finding a store where I can get it. Oh, diatomaceous Here. earth? Yes, you need to, you most definitely need to get um, the food grade diatomaceous earth. Yeah, that's what I just sent you. Yeah. Um, because the, the food grade diatomaceous earth is in a crystalline uh, form. Whereas, yes. whereas the other is, um, well, the structure is not the same. But you need the food right. grade one, and that to does get the best results. Yeah, and the crystalline one is the one that you can also use it as a pest control. Like if your critter, if your fur babies have fleas, you can mm -hmm. sprinkle it on them. It's not going to harm your animals, but it will get rid of the fleas. Mm -hmm. uh, because the fleas will walk across the, the food grade, and it, with its crystalline structure, it will cut their exoskeleton, So like, and it will kill the fleas. Them so yeah. They d die. Yeah. yeah. Slow it. See how cruel we are? Let's kill something. But that's, you know. We will you know, join a group and murder That's together. the way nature works. <laughs> you know, so. Saying, I'm just saying, I, you know. I'm just just like everybody else in yeah. the long run. I'm just more picky about what I'm willing to kill. Yeah, well, I I am or support more willing to uh, remove uh, cre you know creepy crawlers like spiders and I had a big one going across the well, kitchen floor this morning and the cat was chasing it and yeah, she's good. This is more for the sake of the animal because you know we got animals that we we let them in and let them out. Uh huh. Well, the domesticating part is the part that's not natural. So they're probably their immune systems have been compromised yes. by being kept inside all these years. It weakens them so they, they can't survive out there without us. Yeah. Okay. Well, I told Cirque I wanted to find a, a different route than the uh, what they got at the vet store. So I found that. Now I just got to get some. Yeah. But that's, yeah. I mean, years of listening to people on the Internet and, you know, other folks' opinions about the exact opposite of what I think, like the like the rebels at the round table. I'm not going to I'm not going to not like them because I disagree with them. But how could I possibly know what these people think if I don't listen to them talk about it? Yeah. 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 There you go. And I try to give both groups the same type of uh opportunity you know if you've got a group and you want to represent it and it's important and i know you well, listen to what you got to say if, if it's 
you know, it's not going to hurt me to hear it. Yeah. Because that uh, choice I can make all by myself. Even my wife said so. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, because it is a whole lot easier to beg for forgiveness than to ask for permission. <laughs> uh, that's true. That is no, true. No, it isn't. That's a fucking fantasy. I'll tell you, it's it's easier to comply, and I fucking would just as soon not comply. Mm. I'd rather be wrong than comply. <laughs> Think about it. Uh, just no, for, I could see that with you. Yeah. Fuck them and their fucking compliance. God, well, look what good it's doing, everybody. Yeah. If it's so fucking good for you, then why is life so fucked up? And if life ain't fucked up, well, then good. Mine ain't, but it could be if I wanted it to be. I could go jump into a city thing and go all, what do you call it, uh, protest against shit and, you know, cause a stir, be somebody. <laughs> Fuck all that. Be somebody, like a flash? Whoa, maybe. Mm. Maybe like a flash droid in the sky. (laughs) (laughs) And it leaves a streak. (laughs) On a white dress at a a Scottish (laughs) wedding. Yeah, ooh, a white dress at a Scottish wedding. I tell you what, there'd be an awful lot of laughing going on. Yeah, because if I could find this, I seen a picture of it. I don't know if it was a friend showed it to me or if I saw it on the internet. This is my problem. But it was of a Scottish wedding, and the the bride had a white gown with a big brown streak and a guy in a kilt on her. (laughs) Oh, God. It was attractive. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. <laughs> That's a look Jake, I don't aspire to. I could never wear a dress in public. I tell you, guarantee it now after seeing that picture. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> the sinking of the Titanic, help! <laughs> Yoinks. You go. Well, they tell you shits for your safety, but the same people that tell you that, you know. If there's anything in the in the country that I'm from that's based on your safety and that area has a Walmart that's open 24 hours a day, you're being lied to. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, because think about all the horrible shit you could buy in the middle of the night at a Walmart and mix together and do terrible things with. <laughs> <laughs> like feed it to other people and they go, oh, what no. is this shit? Yeah. Good Lord. That's what I mean. See, th- there are so few real human tragedies that the, the ones that we see in the news media all seem to me over the years. There's always a story plot and a lot, you know, it's like a recipe. Yeah. And I'm talking about the big things like O.J. Simpson, you know, the things that captivate the 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 brain dead mind long enough to watch it, not to understand any of the fucking dynamics about it, but just to know the black and white of it. Yeah, Here you go, because while while like I've said, told you the story before on this table, while O.J. was in prison, there was a guy taking credit for the murder that he was being charged for. <laughs> So. Well, you know, they're always, that's one of those things, though, any kind of high profile, something like that, there's always somebody that's going to, and I think, you know, some people, sometimes they really did, and sometimes it's just, they want their 15 seconds of fame. Of I mean, you see other people that do shit, and and they go, well, I did it because so-and-so did it, and and they got famous, and it's like, wow, yeah. what a stupid thing to aspire to. Some things are just out of character for certain personalities to me. Yeah. Not to you. Yeah. You know, over the years, you've seen me judge things that I read Mm -hmm. and come up with a completely different result than you did, but find I was right in the end. Is that, that's safe to say that, right? Yeah. So I look at OJ and I see one thing and you look at him and you see another. And the part that gets twisted is, I don't know how to explain that. I think he pissed somebody off above him. 
Oh, I'm sure owned, he did. Owned him. He did something horrible and had nothing to do with the girl or, the, but they followed it. Followed him all the way to all the way to Nevada. Yeah, well, I think Nevada gun laws are looser than most folks, most states. Maybe at the yeah, but Nevada laws are pretty light. The gun laws, as far as carrying and all, anyway, but they played off that. Well, he was a uh, he wasn't convicted of anything, but his rights had been tampered with. Blah blah blah. But what's a running back doing holding people up with a gun for? Is beyond me. Yeah. I ran around with a guy that size more than once in my life because it was how life went. And I'd meet these giants and they, whatever, we'd get along and end up working together. And the biggest thing that was common amongst them was their concern about accidentally hurting other people because they're so big. Yeah. You know? And then me being so much smaller than them made them even more aware of, good God, I'm a gorilla. I got to be careful. I don't want to break my partner here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you're beating, you're, you're beating on fucking wood with hammers and you, you're lifting up this and you're moving that. And then you got to be careful and dainty so you don't break your partner. That's a big thing to be aware of. Yeah. So, yeah. well, it's nice to have gotten through life with people uh the way i have you know and the ones that i met they got me where i'm at yeah shit yeah if i hadn't met this person i wouldn't have learned that to do this to go to that place and it was like a big chain and end up here yeah yeah it is wild when you when you look at all of the different steps that you took in order to get where you're at it sometimes it really you just kind of got to go Whoa. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I think other people look at me from a distance and go, wow, that happened. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, but, and it, yeah. Well, the best, the best ex, uh, experiences of that are the kids in town that are working to get away. Yeah. You know, their aspirations are bigger. They want to b- live in a big city or be in a big big business. They don't want to live in small town and they get to practice their English on me. So it's kind of uh, like, a, it's like a gift in a way because they'd never get the chance to when they should, you know, it wouldn't happen for them. So, yeah. So my inability works out for their, for their benefit in the long run because they want it to, cause they want to practice and there's, there, there's the American yak, yak, yak. <laughs> yeah. And they're really nice kids too. Well, yeah. good. See, and but, most of them, if you know, most people I, are I really nice. If you, bad. yeah, I don't think they were bad anywhere I've been. I'm just saying the ones I encounter, it just <laughs> like anywhere else, they're nice to me. And if they're not, I just avoid them, and I just don't have to avoid anyone here. There's nowhere to go anyhow. <laughs> you can't hide. <laughs> yeah. We all shop at the same stores to survive, so we're going to all run into each other eventually. So the best way to do it is just be decent. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, I was showing – somebody sent me in Cirque uh, a link, or we found it. Anyway, of this uh, hot dog place in Chicago. Oh, I found it, and I tried to send it to Cirque, and she ain't watched it yet. But it's insulting the dog's uh, – the people that sell the hot dogs and the people that buy it call each other names. Oh, okay. I'll send you the link after the show. I've got it on the on the Skype. Anyway, hell, I could do it while I'm on the Skype. Probably not blow up anything now. But yeah, you they they, I guess you order it nasty and they give you a nasty response back. It's like a uh, like a I don't know like. I don't know what to compare it to who like a traditional thing you mm-hmm. know, where you got a, a business that operates in some off the wall behavior. Well, there's hot dog stand or it's not a stand. It's a, a big kitchen. Anyway, they got some foul mouth people working for them. <laughs> and I'm going to try to open up the link so I can find uh, I'm going to end up closing everything. Huh? Uh, uh-oh. 
Now I can't. What did I do wrong now? I don't know, but no. I'm gonna I'm gonna respond to Frumpy. Uh, Frumpy, yeah, I agree with you. It's not there. so much the skin color as it is the culture, and you know that reminds me of a video once again huh. on Fakey Book that I saw. Um, interview with um, uh, people with Chinese heritage that live in uh, Louisiana and Mississippi and down in that neck of the woods, and their like grandparents migrated over and and these people you know they speak with the mississippi accent which <laughs> it was it was kind of wonky for me to initially because it's like whoa no they look chinese but they have that that southern drawl kind of <laughs> thing going on you know and and they was talking about how they their grandparents had owned a grocery store and they was doing all this and and i it, it took me a bit to be able to correlate the the visual with the auditory but you know they one gal who was born and raised in mississippi she huh. said you know, she's always got people coming up to her saying, so how did you develop that accent that you've got? Did it take you a long time to get it? And and she she said, well, um, yeah, all my life because I was born here, you know, <laughs> but it's weird how people, you know, my, myself included, sometimes the visual and the auditory they don't jive and so you're it's almost like watching a godzilla movie you know where the lips aren't syncing with the words kind of thing <laughs> wow. and i think i think people have issues sometimes but yeah it's yeah mm. it, uh. it is crazy you know how how you have all these preconceived notions because of one sense or another and then when right. when two preconceived notions headbutt each other, it it really does send the sparks flying through all the cobwebs, at least in my brain. So, kind of mm. interesting. Well, I find it, yeah, I find it fascinating myself. But rural living will do that to you. It'll put you in a state of conscience that normally could avoid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See. The anonymity of city life dulls the person doing it to the point of they don't even know they're doing anything they don't like. Yeah. It's just what's happening. Blah, blah, who cares? Went, wow. I don't want to do that. Yeah. But I didn't know I was doing it until I went somewhere where I didn't do it. You know, And I came to the decision. There wasn't anybody else telling me anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But wow. all the arguing I did in the middle, <laughs> yeah. you know, from, from point A to point B, I guess the, at, at this point of the game of life, it shows that I was right all along, whatever that is. I was right for me. And that's the point is whatever you want, you can have it. Just go do it. Stop thinking that the world's going to do it for you. You got to go do it. Yeah. The world ain't going to do anything for you. It's all rigged to work against you. And all the organizations there are prove that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're screwed in the medical, we're screwed in the legal, political, any, religious, any organization is just a, it's a big hole. Yeah. Well, there you go. What are you going to do about that? I don't know. Well, I find avoiding it works for me. Yeah, well, yeah, avoiding not, it does, yeah, help. Not participating in it uh, unless I feel like it. Yeah. Yeah, and there you go. It's all subjective. But yep. I'm a, yeah, it likes me, like Cirque. Cirque has the ability to know there's an option to this, to what she does, but chooses this as her choice. Nah, I'd rather do this. Go, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I just, I had to find. What did you find? Well, we're almost Whoa. to the end of our last I show know. for a while. Yeah, for a couple of weeks. Um, I just had to find some, because Chloe's got that way cool kitchen that she shared. And it's mm. like, whoa, no, I got to, I got to find the, the perfect stove that goes in there. <laughs> oh, perfect stove. Yes, yes. How do you know it's perfect? 
because it's perfect for me. Oh, you're crazy. I get it yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. Okay, Fixed Chloe, stuff. this is a stove that I would put in Thanks. that kitchen. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out on the dork table. Yeah. We were, we were dorking today. Yes, uh, we were dorking. We were kind of dorking all over dorking all over the place but uh, i don't know unless somebody i don't see hardly anybody knows how to do this dork thing with me so <laughs> probably nah, i don't know i'll be able to give grim a better answer when i know what the fuck's going on how's that yeah well i think definitely but, until the end of summer you know because i'm gonna be yeah grandkid well and yeah you're gonna be and... busier than a one-legged hobo at a masochist contest <laughs> I don't know. Some kind of contest. Yeah, some kind of, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. not the eye. Don't put it in my eye. Yeah, I know. Drops will help you with the recovery. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Oh, well, y'all been listening to The Dork Table here on reallibertymedia.com, channel three, and oh, lots and of other boy, RLM places. Wait, boycott, uh, boycott Monsanto Day is the 18th, I think. Sweet, yeah. Boy can't, boycott Monsanto Monsanto and Israel, and uh, yeah, tomorrow at noon, Grimner with the blues. Directly following him, Hal Anthony, who's going to open up a can of whoop ass on yo ass behind the woodshed. 7 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, Gary Ellen Gigi's boo with the road less traveled. There will not be a dork table next week or the weekend oh, after. So you got a couple of weekends. Hey, Memorial Weekend, you're free to roam the country and pay those extra high gas prices because it's Memorial Weekend. And uh, we'll be back for the last dork table.